Buongiorno! Siamo arrivati a Sicilia. Sicilia. Finally. Ow! Oh, I didn't blend my powder. Okay, we are at this hotel village thing. View is really pretty. The sky is really blue. We woke up really late today. We're gonna go and it's about 1 p.m. and we're gonna leave our house now. So to get to the city, you get an elevator. This is so funny. explanation whatsoever to the Taormina Greek um, theater. There is a Greek theater very famous in Taormina, in Taormina which is what I just showed in this film but at night and um, basically they always have something going on in that theater. We were really lucky to be there right when David Garrett was going to um, perform it with his violin and then the Messina Orchestra was going to be there as well and then Matteo Bocelli was also there and I cried I cried wonders I cried wonders that's the better way of saying it in Portuguese I cried a lot watching it it was incredible I mean the theater itself is already beautiful you can see the sea behind the theater and like it was sunset it wasn't pretty a sunset but because the sunset was in the back while the show was in the front it was blocked by mountains but it was absolutely amazing and you know the orchestra with David Garrett there playing it was beautiful he, he obviously knows how to play beautifully the violin um but yeah it was a beautiful show we were lucky enough to to be able to watch that because when my friend went just a couple weeks after we went to Taormina like it was a Shakespeare thing that was going on. So if you like Shakespeare, you know, there's always something different going on, but I think that between Shakespeare and David Garrett playing um, violin with an orchestra and then Matteo Bocelli, Andrea Bocelli's son coming, like it was so special to us. It made the trip, it made Tower I Mina, it made the whole of Sicily because it was so beautiful. That was cringe. It's day two in Tower Mina and we are at Isola Bella Beach. Here's the thing, I'm gonna show you guys that it's really, really full of chairs. Not people, but chairs. There isn't one spot on the beach without a chair on it, unless you wanna sit literally right there on the ground, then you can, but then you get a lot of sun and there are only chairs at this beach, like no space to, to like really have a sit down. Um, but it is really pretty, I just wish that there were this many chairs and the water is cold we were kicked out of that beach it was 25 euro per person to stay there and then we just went up a little bit and then there's this beach so just pay a little more attention i guess that's what we didn't do so today uh we discovered that beaches in tower mina for what we know but isn't really worth it get a little eh? You get one of those to go down to the beach, or not, you can go walking. It's three euros, and then you go, but the beaches are super full, super full, and it's everything, the, the sand is not sand, it's rock. So, you know, for us it wasn't really worth it, we didn't go in the water, um, but if it were less full of people, maybe we would have enjoyed more. We're gonna go to a village right now to watch the sunset. It's, village, okay. it's a village. It's like a city village. And we'll report. We came to another part of Taormina, which isn't Taormina anymore. It's a village up. We are so high up. This looks super ugly, the background here, but I swear it's super, super pretty. 
We're about to meet our parents at this wine place with a really nice view. Sunset, and you can't really find sunsets in Taormina. So if you wanna watch a good sunset, go to another part of Sicily. Yeah. No? Yeah. Hi. As I edit, I realized I did not express my love for Siracusa. We only stayed one day there and we didn't even sleep there. We just went in the morning and we came back in the late afternoon. Siracusa has my heart. I think that in all of Sicily, I it was the place that I would most consider coming back to. They don't have, you know, those qualified beaches but they have those rocks that you can jump from and you know to get the water refreshment but Siracusa the town everything I mean there's it's so pretty I loved it and I think that if I was going back to one place in Sicily I would go back to Siracusa too bad we didn't sleep there and we didn't stay there for more days it, it really is too bad because Siracusa has my family's heart um, we, we love Siracusa. Today we are on our way to Palermo, but we stopped at this little city called Modica. And it's basically this. I don't want to underestimate the fact that it's super hot. Sun right there and it's killing everybody. It's just actually crazy hot. Um, so that's that. at the Cathedral Vittorio di Emanuele Cathedral, cathedral. Um, Beautiful, it's beautiful, very hot and Most of Palermo, like a lot of Palermo looks like this Yeah, you see that? Yeah, so that's why we didn't like fall in love with it but it is a pretty city in like the center with the historical things of it and I'm gonna stop myself right there and this might be the best advice that you're gonna get from this vlog if you're going to Sicily don't waste your time going to Palermo this is the best advice I'm going to very quickly explain why um, first of all, you literally saw so many of the streets, maybe, maybe we were so scammed that we were, you know, put in the worst neighborhood. The whole thing, all of the streets, except for the historical center, they look like that. They look like what in Brazil we call favela. We went to different places by car. Palermo looks, Palermo resembles favelas in Brazil. So. I don't mean to be mean. However, it's out of all of Sicily, it was the dirtiest, the one that, you know, we have here in Brazil. Like, why would we need to go there? Um, if, we, if we knew that it was like this, we wouldn't have gone to Palermo. We would have just stayed um, the night, like another night in Siracusa if we'd known or we would stay in Cefalu, or we would have stayed in Scopello, which is all coming in the vlog. We did visit all of those places, but only like for the day. If we had known, we would not have gone to Palermo because Palermo itself, you, you giving my advice, you're not, you're not gonna miss out on Palermo, don't, don't. We've been scammed. We got an Airbnb and the apartment inside is really nice, but look, look. Look at the freaking street that my dad put us in. 
Yeah, this is like Pavel. <laughs> I just made the best purchase. What? I made the best purchase. Um, we are about to go to Sifalu, which is a very pretty beach um, place in Sicily. And I just made the best purchase, which is this tiny freaking microphone that I am going to be wearing, using on TikTok probably. I'm probably going to interview people with this, like in the streets. <laughs> Can we ask you a question for a video? Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What do you guys know about Brazil? About Brazil? Yeah. That's my country. It is. Oh! But I don't have ideas right now to what to ask, so I'm not gonna do anything yet. But this, okay, wait. this is my best purchase so far. And I'm going like this to Cephalo Eva. You're, you're, it's fine, she's in bikinis. Not naked. I'm going like this oh. to Cephalo, um, because it's gonna be sunset, my underwear does not match. But it's gonna be sunset, and we're probably gonna go into the beach finally. We haven't gone to an actual beach in this entire trip because we didn't bring a bikini because we didn't know there was gonna be a beach in Siracusa, but whatever, best purchase. It's literally 33, 34 degrees outside and I am still faithful to my tea rituals. <laughs> and Nutella, of course. We can start a podcast and it can be called uh, tea time. I know I'm super exaggerated over this thing, but I loved it because I have tea every single day, at least at least three times a day. So, what are we gonna talk about? I think we can talk about tea this episode. Um, I'm drinking Roy Bowls right now. It's one of my favorite teas. I love black tea, and I love chamomile tea at night. I love Nutella. We can talk about this trip since this, this is a Sicily vlog. Um, so far, Taormina, first day of Taormina, where we visited the theater and we saw a show, was the best day. Um, and so far, we like this one restaurant in Palermo, it's called Boata. We lunched there today, and it's really great, but Palermo is very dirty. So for now, Taormina is winning, and it's the prettiest so far. But we're going to Sifalu today to check it out, so. We are officially in Sifalu, and I have a hat. And it's basically ridiculous. However, I got it for free for buying a shampoo. People say I got it, okay? I mean, she got, I got it, it, but she didn't like it, so. It's supposed to be a really pretty sunset here. So, what did- Inside. The drama. <laughs> On our way to San Vitor di Carpio, I'm not sure what the place is. but it's like too late now so we stopped at this salomeria to buy some prosciutto some formaggio and i got some nutella biscuits and we're just gonna eat in the car and then we're gonna go to the beach Sat on my hat and it looks like I peed on it. Oh my god. We're now at Marsala, which is known for making salts. We're supposed to watch the sunset, but I don't think we're gonna have time because we have to go to um, back to Palermo to have dinner. The dude's selling salt. And you can pay for your little trip on these waters to go through the rivers 
um, if you just get a ticket, so. My mom checked and the salt is more expensive here than it is in, in like Palermo. And the beautiful roads that we are staying in. Um, we're gonna go to Buata, which is the best restaurant that we've tasted in Palermo. Um, I'm gonna take you through it because you have to try it. It's really, really good. Um, like it's different than what the other restaurants in this whole trip that we have been eating are serving. So I'm gonna make sure to show you guys. This is it. Mm -hmm. Regular restaurants, they serve the coperto as like a bread and here they give you this um, alcoholic drink and they give you a little bread with um, tomato sauce on top that is delicious which is why I'm indicating this restaurant, it's just amazing. Judgiest person I know is my mom, and look at her. It's a reality. Fala de novo que é divino. Fala que de novo que é divino. Divino. Anyways, hopefully I convince people to come here because it's so good. Basically, cactus and like the view far away of the ocean, oh, and then. It's not like the prettiest, but for now. For now, Agrigento already seems to have a better impression than Palermo, in my opinion. We only have one uh, night at Agrigento and we have today to do stuff and it's already four o'clock. So what we're gonna do is, we're not very planned out because it's already kind of late to start doing things, but we're about to go to the, a very, the famous beach from here, which is called Turk something, like Turkish something. Um, I might be very wrong, but it's supposed to be really pretty. And then after that, we're gonna go see the temples, which is very famous in Agrigento. And then we're gonna have dinner at a place that the hotel lady recommended. So we can't go in that water, but it's very, very pretty here. Just to see it, it's very pretty. Like top three wickedest places I've ever been to. So put your hair up and play my song. And the birds fly, fly away. Woo! Just to clarify the name of this thing La Escala de Turki. We have decided to actually come to the beach. It's free, just so you know. Um, the water is really clear and we're gonna head down to see if it's pretty or not. Go down. Had to braid my hair to keep it up. It's a very pretty place here, but it's so freaking windy. As well as windy, the sun is right on my face and it's against the wall. So you can't take any really good pictures of the scenario because of the sun. So if you want to come here, you have to come at like 5 a.m. Now we are at the Cita del Valle. I think that's what it's called. Um, we just started, so. I haven't seen this guy this blue since I was in Mallorca, like so pretty. Then you see one of the temples and you walk until the other and the other and the other. It's just like a little... You, you can take the shuttle bus back because it's a little bit of a walk, but it's a good walk. And there is a passageway for people who um, have wheelchairs. Like I said, you have to walk, but we did the whole thing and it was really chill. So you don't have to worry if you're not a good walker. You don't have to worry. This is this was chill. So many brides. Thank you, Usol.
it's about 8 a.m. and we're leaving. Um, it just we're in a nice hotel and we're gonna leave Agrigento and we're gonna leave Sicily and we're going to Positano. Um, we're gonna get there in nine hours of car, which is a lot. Um, but um, Sicily was great. I I did want to say that in recommendations, I would never go back to Palermo. Palermo, you know what? Like we went to some places away from Palermo, but there are easy access from Palermo, so that was good. Palermo itself, I don't think it's worth it. My favorite was Tarmina and then Agrigento. I really like Siracusa. I would recommend that you stay there. Um, and I'm gonna leave in the description my personal ideas, also the names of some of the, of the restaurants that we actually liked and recommend in the description from each place. And I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was helpful if you are coming to Sicily. Um, the next vlog is going to be on Positano and then it's gonna be more like a vlog vlog instead of more travel, trying to, trying to get the best of the traveling to recommend. So I'm gonna just give a, a quick little tour around the hotel the hotel and and then we'll we're gonna leave Sicily so cute there's a um, little tennis it's not tennis actually I don't know what sport is this but it seemed fun I'm just so sad I couldn't play it It's called B&B Villa Seta, and I'm also going to leave it in the description, but I really like it. Unfortunately, we only get to spend one day here, and the receptionists are really nice. They recommended us a really good restaurant yesterday. So, that's signing off from the Sicily vlog. so sad. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you're coming to Sicily, and that's... It for the Sicily vlog. Make sure to watch all the other vlogs. Bijou!